Hi folks, Howard Gustafson with Raglan Piano Company. I wanted to put together a quick video that shows you our acoustic piano to digital conversions and why we think they're some of the best on the market. Here we go. Yeah. We find a lot of pianos on the market nowadays. You can look all over the eBay or Amazon or different places and see pianos for sale, local classifieds, and you'll find a lot of old acoustic pianos that need restoration that are available for just a few hundred dollars but no takers because of the amount of work that needs to be done to them to restore them to good playable condition. Playable is not where you press a key and some kind of sound comes out. Playable is where it's actually usable as a musical instrument. So what we do is we get certain select decent examples of those instruments and we'll gut them completely of all the original acoustic components and then we refit them with digital components. Here, here for example is an old Chickering grand piano. As it was, this piano needed probably about $20,000 worth of restoration work, including a new soundboard, which is no small task. It's doable, but in most cases the market is saturated already and nobody is interested in paying that kind of money for this piano. However, we can remove all those original components, including that old bad soundboard, and refit that with a digital mechanism for roughly half of what it would cost to do a restoration. And while some purists, I'm sure, are not fond of that, it allows us to preserve at least part of the instrument instead of sending the whole thing to the dump, and it retains the original function. Instead of this being a grand piano on a wall looking like a fancy shelf, it's still a musical instrument. And so we do that with both grand pianos and with vertical pianos. Uh, behind us here, turn that thing around, Daryl. Here's an old upright piano that same story. You literally find people giving these away to get rid of them. And a lot of them have very beautiful cabinets or cabinets that are beautiful with just a little bit of work. And we will take and completely remove all the original components. The original keys are gone, the original action is gone, the strings, the uh, tuning pins, the plate, all of that comes out. And in many cases, we take the soundboard out. Now this one is still wearing its original soundboard. We trim the bridge down to make room for what we do in here. Uh, but we'll keep, get all those parts out and install new parts in them and, and have an upright with absolutely beautiful, an absolutely beautiful cabinet. Gorgeous mahogany, very dusty. That's genuine raglan permadust. Uh, not everybody gets those with a piano, but uh, we can, you can special order it with permadust. Folks, let's talk briefly about the types of actions that we use in our digital piano conversions. Um, here on the table we've got several of the so-called factory actions that we have found work very well with this. One of these, and my personal favorite, is the Casio triple strike action. This is found in the PX770, PX870, the CGP700, and a number of other units. A slightly newer action is this particular one here, and I don't know the factory name for it, but this one is found in some of the PXS1000, 1100, 3000, 3100 series, and and some other units as well, and that's also a very good action. This action is uh, called Casio's Grand Hybrid Action, and it was developed in conjunction with Beckstein. So they actually had a piano company help design this particular action. And of course, price-wise, that's reflected. This is a very good action. It simulates the feel of a grand piano because it has uh, the actual wooden keys and steel pins and bushings and everything like that that you would find in a grand piano. This is our top of the line action for vertical pianos. We've tentatively named it the digacoustic action, combination of the words digital and acoustic, uh, because this is a true piano action. So these are actual piano keys and an action hammers everything exactly as used in a true studio piano. Uh, we still use the uh, digital contacts underneath the keys to sense key movement and velocity. That information is sent to the rest of the digital mechanism, but as far as what you feel, you'll actually feel a true acoustic piano when you play this one. Then underneath the keys, we use a sensor rail. We'll either use a rail out of one of these units here, or we'll use a dedicated rail like this one, which is simply a MIDI sensor rail. 
we would still have to add, to any of these, we still have to add some type of mechanism to detect the key motion, generate a sound, and play it through speakers. That's easily done with these because we can utilize the factory components for that. With the MIDI rail, there's a lot of different choices. It can be anything going into an iPad, to a computer, to anything more deluxe than that and dedicated. So that's kind of a quick overview of the different actions that we use in the system. So here's an inside view of one of our so-called digi-acoustic pianos, an acoustic piano that's been converted to a digital piano. You'll note it has a piano action, traditional acoustic piano action. This action and key set were made for the Baldwin Hamilton 245, the United States built Hamiltons uh, back when they were still built in Truman, Arkansas. We acquired a number of these actions and used them in our conversions to give a true authentic acoustic piano feel to our digital pianos. This truly is a hybrid because we take the mechanical portion of an acoustic piano and mate that with the digital key strip that you can see right here that runs the length of the keys. One of the most unique features, in fact, this is the only digital piano that I know offers this. We've retained the damper levers in the action mechanism. And those are right back here. Those are the damper levers you can see right there. Now, the reason we did that is because an action without damper levers, acoustic piano action, will not feel right. That's because when you press a key, halfway through the keystroke, the, the spoon on the whipping engages the damper lever and the pianist can actually feel that very slight few grams of additional down weight required to lift the damper lever. Now, that won't be in play if the sustain pedal is pressed because all of the dampers will already be lifted from the strings. We've included that as well in our action. So when you step on this sustain pedal right here, we have a rod that you can maybe just see that dowel will lift those damper levers free and authentically recreate the feel of an acoustic piano action for this digital. This really isn't anything new in industries like the automotive industry where for years they have been replacing old engines and drivetrains with modern equivalents that give better gas mileage or more power or more reliable for a variety of reasons. Recently we decided given the market conditions it was time to start doing the same thing for digital pianos and that's why we started this up. Long term goals include us fixing yours for you. You can buy one from us already done. We're also working on selling kits that will enable do-it-yourselfers and technicians to do the same work that we do here. Look in the description below for updated links as these become available.